Blake Cousins here, third phase of Moon. Welcome world, we're going over five incredible videos submitted to us Facebook. Quite incredible, let's get to it. We got Brent Cousins here going over this footage. We got this, uh, again, October was quite a ride for people from Florida earlier in the morning. Brian H submits this photograph, again collaborating. Uh, what was captured over the skies and the panic? Well, the unknown, not explained by NASA. Why haven't they explained this? Uh, Brent, first off, we're looking at Young Trillion's video of the same event. Welcome to the show, Brent. Man, Blake, this just keeps heating up. This, again, represents more information, more evidence of the incident in October. And it reminds me of an experience both Blake and I had in 86. I remember that, Brent. Redondo Beach, uh, you know, five. That's right. Exactly. We had a family reunion and it was crowded. And I saw it first and I called everybody out. And this is what we saw. I have always explained it to this day as a purple-like jellyfish. And later on, the day afterwards, it's explained by our media. Give me a break that it was a Chinese rocket launch failure. Over Southern California, I highly doubt that. And what Young Trilling captured still has not been explained by NASA of exactly what went down. There's strange lights that appear next to this jellyfish in the sky. Why? If this was an explosion or a malfunction or something, you would think that there would be no kind of aviation next to this. It does not make any sense. This photo again proves more evidence of strange phenomenon next to these wormhole like jellyfish anomalies that we see. NASA calls it a success. If China was a rocket failure explosion, I can't see this being anything else than something more phenomenal than what NASA is saying. The people have it right. The people have had it right since October that this is no rocket, that this is something else. Something very strange. Indeed. Let's get to this strange phenomenon. This is quite interesting. In the beginning, it was like, well, it could be a sunset going down and then all of a sudden it starts to pop. You gotta look at this. Wow, Blake, that is bright and it keeps the sequence up. It almost seems like it's a message of some sort. This is no transformer explosion. It's nothing like it. This is something that we have in the archives at Third Phase of Moon and there has been some similar submissions exactly on what we're looking at here. Absolutely, heart, CERN, weather control. I believe that there is technology that exists right now and it has nothing to do with aliens and they're controlling the weather. I'm not sure if this is what we're looking at, but it is quite strange and it brings up some of the strange phenomenon that we've seen like this in 2015. and. Uh, things have just got started. Absolutely. The quality, we had to blow it up and throw in a little contrast to really get a good detail on what we're looking at here. But the submission is legit from Facebook. As usual, the people deliver. And this video delivers to me. And I hope everybody at Third Phase Moon likes it. Definitely. And uh, there's definitely popping going on. And it's unlike any kind of uh, sunset, as some people might think. It is. Uh, go try and tell that to your friend and show him this video. And I'm sure you'll get quite a different reaction from your own. Let's get to the next uh, video submitted via Facebook. And this is quite interesting. We've never followed this phenomenon of strange noises captured from around the world. Let's get to it. All the way from Sweden. Listen to this.
finally got to hear these weird ass sounds for myself. Okay, Brent, you've heard it. We've never really uh, followed up on this phenomenon around the world. I'm finally, uh, okay, we're doing it right now. It seems genuine to me. Your first reaction, Brent. Like over the years, people have always said, hey, the trumpet sounds, the strange mechanical sounds coming from inner earth or somewhere else. You know, it's, it's always fascinated me, but I always felt it's too easy to shoot a video and throw in some audio and there, boom, there you go. You know, we're gonna share this for the first time, but what I like about this submission was a detailed response by the submitter. And you know, we felt genuine and there's enough evidence around the world to really give this, this phenomenon some justification. So I'm glad we're putting it up on third phase moon right here. Well, that's, uh, that's true, Brett. And we have to let the people decide. And what are yeah, we hearing? Hear it sounds, sounds very, very strange. Could it be some kind of mechanical, industrial mechanism making this? Underground bases, interdimensional warpage through the sound. I don't know. All I'm saying, it is interesting and it should be followed up. So we just did it. And I'm going to submit this to Enigma Seeker. He has his own YouTube channel. And I suggest if you're interested in this subject matter, Send him your videos in regards to strange sounds. He's he's doing his research. He's gridding maps around the U.S. And I'm sure he's going to get to it around the world. Uh, let's get to the next one, which is quite interesting. Again, from Facebook, we're going to go to Robert Resendez II from El Campo, Texas. A photograph immediately makes me wonder what am I looking at? Could this be a lightning bolt? Do you notice that? It looks like a lightning blast and then something streaks up, up into the skies. This is unusual. This is no bottle rocket. This is no missile launch. This is something that's strange. I'm glad that we're looking at this right now. We're looking at it right now with you people around the world for the first time. Brent, your first reaction. Blake, it's quite static at the tip of it, which I like, and it seems to leave a shadow in its wake. Vice versa, it could be a, a you know something from outer space that, you know, a, a typical meteor that shot through the clouds. But I would think it would be somewhat different looking. Blake, could this be a, a chemtrail? Well, I don't know. It just came and started midway in the shot. It seems like whatever it is generated came from this source, this lightning strike, in my opinion. Blake, it, if I'm thinking again, if it was a chemtrail, it would keep on chemming and spewing out its, its dirty stuff. This is stopped, and it's quite fascinating when you put in that contrast, it really illuminates on what we're looking at here and gives it a sense of space and depth. Well, you know, I. I might not say it's a lightning strike, but it's very strange when you look at it pass through the cloud that it changes its light imagery. And there seems like a separation. I don't know, more experiments, more weird, weird weather. That's what we know for sure is going on. We're going to get to this next photograph. And this is quite amazing. Wow, look at it. A punch through the clouds by Tyler Bassett. Submits this photo. Here's some of his... Uh, dialogue from uh, Rochester, Minnesota. We got some video coming up of the exact same image that he captured. We're going to get to that shortly, but let's go over this shocking photograph right now, captured by Tyler. Blake, I'm looking forward to the video. This is impressive. It reminds me of Chicago, the O'Hara incident, when a UFO shot through the clouds and left a hole in it punctured it literally and this is what we're looking at here what i'm noticing about this photo and i can't wait for the video is what's coming through the clouds it looks like two 
two trails of something that was left that shot through that cloud and moved to the right and the evidence is still there hung in the air yeah i, I noticed that for the first time as you mentioned that that is very strange indeed let's get to the video roll with it wow okay there you go this isn't photoshop this is the real deal people come on there's strange things going on this video is quite amazing tyler thanks for sharing this to uh, facebook and i'm glad that you're watching it with us absolutely you know it, facebook uh youtube every the submissions have just been lighting up and this is just new information within the past 24 48 hours at the most and this is quite fascinating i like the video it really shows these trails leaving this punch hole and i believe in my opinion this is what created this phenomenon that we're looking at right here something created it and what is going down and above the skies of planet earth thank you people from around the world for watching and submitting your videos because it's quite incredible the experiment going on right now the experiment that's out of the government hands it's in your hands quite amazing people brent hey thanks a lot for joining us right here at third phase going over this uh new information blake it's always something new something special it's great to go at it looking at it at a real-time perspective and that's what third phase moon's all about hey blake thanks and thanks everybody keep watching thanks brent and everybody let's roll with the information as fast as you get it we're here standing by right here at third phase moon contact us via facebook skype go to our about page on youtube third phase of moon blake cousins keep your eyes on the skies everybody we're not alone and you know it we'll see you again next time